When the Congress's first list is finally out, and that is days after the BJP took that march by announcing 195 candidates, but the Congress has announced only 39 candidates, but out of which 24 are those who belong to the OBC, SC, ST, and a minority community. That's also a messaging which the Congress party is wanting to send out with Rahul Gandhi's stress on the OBC factor. But no surprises, but there are two important uh, significant takeaways. One, of course, Rahul Gandhi is not going to be abandoning why not? He's going to be continue to contest from there for the second time round. Why not has always been considered to be a very, very safe seat for the Congress party. But this time there's a twist in the tail because the CPI's D. Raja, one of the closest allies of the Congress party in the India front, his wife is contesting opposite him in Why not? Obviously, when the campaign takes place, there's going to be a bitter exchange of words between the two of them. However, Congress maintains the line that while we may be opponents in Kerala, we are friends in Bengal. But how do you explain that to the voters when you look at the larger national picture of the India front? So Rahul Gandhi contesting from Vainar, but a surprise would be to, and what suspense really is, that whenever the UP screening committee meeting takes place, will Rahul and Priyanka Gandhi Vadra take that plunge from UP? Will Rahul Gandhi also contest from Amethi? That's certainly going to be a big story that we are going to be watching out for. Rahul Gandhi had been very keen on one fact ever since he became in charge of the organization that there should be elections right from the ground to the top. People should not shy away from taking on the BJP even if the BJP comes across as being very powerful. You know, the Congress had also given this argument that at least on 275 seats, we are in a straight fight with the BJP and therefore we should be allowed to contest from here. Many like the TMC, some in the SP, do not agree with this, especially also AAP, who felt that the Congress party does not have it within them. So why are they sticking their neck out? They are the parties who are going to be watching very, very carefully the electoral results. Should the Congress party not do well in these 2200 odd seats, then they are going to say, we told you so. The problem is that while the Congress party wants to contest on such large number of seats, where do they get their candidates from? Rahul Gandhi's solution and that of the top leadership is let's get the big guns out, the big names out, all hands on deck, no shying away from a fight. So there are two names which figure in this list which is very significant. One is of course KC Venugopal who has been a member of parliament from Manipur so he's not new to this fight but last time round of course he was not there and he's a confidant of Rahul Gandhi, general secretary in charge of the organization. Him entering the poll fray, Bhupesh Baghel also former chief minister of Chhattisgarh also contesting the elections. Messaging is very simple that high profile leaders, seniors all of them will give the, uh, will be contesting. Now, this certainly puts pressure on many of the reluctant leaders. Will they also contest? Will Ashok Gelot, for example, contest for Lok Sabha from Rajasthan? Will there be Sachin Pilot also contesting? And who are the possibly other big names like a Kamal Nath or a Bhupinder Hudda or say, uh, you know, Dipinder Hudda? Will they also be contesting the Lok Sabha elections?